think one of the unique things about coming to Georgetown County's Hammock Coast is that it is pure discovery. Other places have been promoted more heavily. There might be a couple of places within this Hammock Coast that people have heard about, but I think they experience firsthand this feeling of discovery. How many times have we traveled and said, I never knew this place existed? And I think that's what people experience when they take the time and energy to come and discover the Hammock Coast. Well, my name is Lee Brockington, and I moved to Pauley's Island in 1984, about 40 years ago, in order to take a job at Hobcaw Barony. And I found that the entire county, this entire Hammock Coast, was the one place that made my heart sing. So many people are first attracted to the Hammock Coast because of the beaches and the marshes, but truly, in addition to fishing and golf courses, when you begin to think about history, there are sites that are available to the public that include plantations, cemeteries, churches, and woodland walks that appeal to a wide variety of different people. Hobcaw Barony has often been described as one of the best kept secrets in South Carolina. It is 16,000 acres of relatively undisturbed land. One of the things that makes it special is it's a, a number of different ecosystems, oceanfront, salt marsh, upland forest, cypress swamps. So the property is accessible to the public, provides insight into history and ecology in a number of different ways, in a number of different places. When people are traveling through the Hammock Coast, they might stop at the Hobcaw Barony Discovery Center a publicly accessible building at the front gate of Hobcaw Barony and enjoy exhibits and information about what they can do while there. Brook Green Gardens is not only a place for art and for flowers, but especially for history. Although a number of people don't realize that Brook Green does tours and programs, any visitor would be satisfied strolling through the gardens and under the trees. The Low Country Trail at Brook Green Gardens connects the more formal sculpture gardens to the Low Country History Center. And along that trail, not only are there sculptures of African American heritage, but also there's audio where visitors can hear and listen to the voices of Gullah Geechee history. Their zoo itself, the Brook Green Zoo, all of the animals that are there are native species, native to this part of the Hammock Coast. You might consider visiting Sandy Island, an 11,000 acre island. For the visitor who is not only interested in Gullah Geechee culture, but also is interested in a genuine experience, getting in touch with Laura Harriet, who owns a home and offers walking tours, a meal in her home, or an overnight experience. So there are now opportunities by residents and those whose families have lived on Sandy Island for generations, opening their homes, opening their family land for an experience for people to learn about Gullah Geechee culture. You will be amazed at all that Sandy Island has preserved in perpetuity. The city of Georgetown has an amazing historic district made up of over 60 structures on the National Register of Historic Places, structures including homes and churches. In addition to self-guided walking tours that you might enjoy, you might also visit one of the museums in downtown Georgetown. I think any visitor that decides to come to the Hammock Coast will find first and foremost an authentic experience. Whether it is the person seeking history, they will also seek nature and the outdoors and meet people who make their living taking and sharing this ecology in the Hammock Coast with others. And the Hammock Coast can provide what I think is a unique, but especially an authentic and genuine experience.